G'day everyone, welcome back to our channel, just thought I'd show you around our rig, this is our little setup, Hillary and I, let us know what you think, 2016 Ford Ranger, wild track, Get on in the bush. Clear view slide. Engine camps. Put it around there, little freezer at that end. Fridge that in. You can swap it around. You can have a little fridge and big freezer, whichever way you want to go. The lid also swaps around. You can have it on the other side. Stuck in the bush one night and needed four. So I went and bought another two. And this side of the canopy, we've got the little travel buddy oak 12 volt oven. That works excellent. Heating up pies, doing roasts on the run. When you're driving along, by the time you get to where you're going to go, depends how long the trip is, of course. We've got um, the iTech World 2000 watt inverter. I've got the 40 amp VC charger down there, I'll tick well. And that's the, um, the regulator for the for the uh, solar, just to charge the battery up the canoe. Oh, plus I'll put a four plug hole there so we can, ch we can always charge our um, toothbrushes up more out in the bush. Shove them up there. Out in some time or another. Tex Max Snorkel. There's river crossings. The winch. Winch up under there. 10,000 pound worn winch. Right forced spotties. Yeah, let us know what you think. We like it. Week was the um, fire extinguisher cap fire extinguishers. Give me a little plug there, even though he doesn't pay me anything. But uh, seems like a nice fella. Anyway, I put that in there. It's better to have it not need it than to need not have it. Is what I always say. XRS Connect. Anyway, I'm say around this way. The gauges up there. One of them for the battery, both of them. You get your cranking battery and your dual battery. It tells you how flat or how much charge it's got. And that's your um your turbo. Exhaust gas emission or emission or whatever it's heating or something. Anyway, 
that's what it does. It tells you how much boost your turbo's putting out and things like that. But, um, yeah, I quite like the setup. This is this little bit here, this is good having a bit of water with you. I usually take an extra can, a little bit extra in the bush. There's only me and Hillary a lot of most of the time. It's, we go camping at the shack and we take all the grandkids. Let us know what you think. We quite like it. Uh, show you one more thing. That's where the dual battery is up under the tray. Now they're supposed to be waterproof, these iTech World 120s are. I'll have to find that out. A little, little plug there for the, so I can plug solar into it if, I, if I'm ever sitting somewhere. Pin there for the Patriot camper. Yeah, that's for charge the camper on the run. Little way some plug. Yeah, I quite like that figure. I think it's good. Everyone else seems to show their rig so I thought we'd show ours anyway I'll show you the camper now Patriot campers this is a 2018 model X1 Grand Tour X1 I think it's called Grand Tour there we go Grand Tour this is the man cave You've got a Basto hot water system. That does the shower. You've got a shower head in here. Put that in your little on suite. And you've got Weber Cube. That cooks a mean roast. Oh, it cooks anything really. Uh, we, uh, you've got gas bottle wet side. Gas bottle wet side. You've got a little leveler here which you can level with the jockey wheel up and down this way and you can use the airbags just to do it level the other way it works well this is a kitchen this is what i call hillary's bush kitchen sorry about the washing there on the line but, uh yeah this is hillary's little kitchen so we've got hot and cold water she's got a little utensil drawer there this is where all the knives and forks go. Yeah, that, that sits back like that. Duncan Biscuit made a little extension for the end of here. That's what this little thing here is. Got a little table comes out there. I'll show you that in another video when we've got it all set up probably. But this is Hillary's kitchen. You've got a little pantry there. A two burner stove, Bromwich. Two burners. Other bits and pieces. The pizza stone for the weather. This is the controls. This tells you what's ever going on in the trailer. She's locked at the moment. We can unlock that. It's in storage, so we'll put it in touring because we're going to be touring very shortly. That's all your lights. Your left, your right, your tent. In the middle, you go over there, and you got your 12 volt. Oh, done again. 12 volt fridge. That's the pump. There's how it tells what's in the airbags down there. And there's your water. Turn the off. Now this is your little Webasto controller. It turns the hot water on, so you can have a shower, or you can have hot water to the sink. Yeah, this side is probably used as a table. We always set up another table that we've got in there. You can sit at that, or the kids can, if you bring the kids, of course. A bit of storage in the back here. Food, a few utensils. Still trying to sort all that out. Lots of things, a little rubbish tin there. Pop up sink. Side. Another little door there. That's just another oh, a little 
inverter in there too. It's only a 350 watt. Can't really do much with that, but we just charge up our toothbrushes and things like that when we can them in the tent rather than just taking the car. This door here, that houses the toilet. It's in there, but I won't pull it all out now. I'll show you that in another, another video. There's, um, there's a big the slide comes out, slides right out, so it's not too heavy to lift. Yeah, so that's our, that's our 2018 Grand Tourio X1. Sorry about the washing out of there again. It's a trouble when you're videoing, you don't know what's behind you. Trail a load of rubbish as well. Anyway, we sort of leave the awning up, or put the awning up, because we have, when we're having a barbecue, we've got to parked out the back here um, it gives us some shade next to the shed having a barbecue and also we swim in the pool yeah. that's our little setup you'll see a lot more of it when we uh, set it right up but um, I know a lot of people around Australia got these things probably not the first video you've ever seen but that's ours and we love it. Well, that's it for this video, folks. Uh, let us know what you think. Um, yeah, that's our little thing. Hopefully we'll get out on the roads very soon. Anyway, if you like the video, give us a like and subscribe. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Uh, the other thing with this fridge, too. It looks really well. Get this, out. this little table. Clean it. There you go. It's handy to have a little bit of extra table room when you're on the road. Put the stove on there sometimes and just chuck it. Just pack it up. It's a nice little carry case, too. Scratch it around too much. Look a bit right in there under the fridge. There it is. Nice button in here. Up she goes. thing I've got down here too in the toolboxes here. Little ARB compressor. Pumping up the tyres, pumping up the airbags, pumping up the tubes floating down the river, all that sort of stuff. A few spares. And this side is some tyre repair stuff, a few rocky straps and a little sock to go over the snorkel on those dusty roads. Yeah, that was just it. I just wanted to add that little bit extra in. 